Oh, this is me. This is my last video on my stuff. So, I got aloe vera powder. And you know, the powder is, you take a few teaspoons and it's just like making aloe vera juice, but it's in a powder form. I got baking soda. And I bought that because I'm supposed to get into soap making one of these days. But baking soda is really good. I've seen a recipe to make toothpaste also. Toothpaste deodorant, that's why I have that. Acetyl um, alcohol, good for sh um, conditioners. Bentonite clay, you know that's good for uh, clarifying your hair. Cornstarch, seen it in a recipe. Carbomer. This is good for making gel, hair gel. You can make hair, natural hair gel. And I believe it's one of the ingredients in one of my favorite products from uh, Caused by Nature. The gel, the actual gel. So that's why I brought that. Gorgon powder. This is really good for um, thickening products. Goat milk. I use this sometimes on my hair instead of coconut milk. Another thing of cassia powder because I really was enjoying the cassia powder until I figured out that it loosens your curl pattern. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to give this away at my, um, I'm having a natural hair event on the 20th of October. I'm going to give this away then. Citric acid. Another form of starch. I got some orange flower water, some more bentonite clay, because I try to do the bentonite clay at least once a month. Sometimes I get lazy and I skip it, but bentonite clay. The borax, this is good for making soaps and laundry detergent. Uh, let's see what else I got. Polysorbate 80, you can use this um, to um, thicken your recipes, you know, your shampoo recipes, your conditioner recipes. BTMS 50, conditioner for making your own conditioner. Beeswax, you can make lip gloss, lip balm, all kinds of things like that. Some people actually use beeswax in some of their hair products, but I'm not from I haven't tried it yet. Emulsifying wax. This is the stuff that makes the oil and water mix and stay mixed. So emulsifying wax. Xanthan gum, another one of those thickeners. But um this one is also good good source of fiber yep thickener stabilizer and emulsifier for a number of different foods and you know we we buy a lot of these products but you know hair food body they kind of go together so that's that let's see citric acid this is really good for um conditioner it's supposed to kind of help your hair absorb it better I showed y'all the black tea. I got some Castile soap because I'm supposed to be making Julie's uh, Castile soap, making my own liquid version. So that's what that's from. Vanilla beans. The vanilla beans. I think it's two beans in here, and I think I paid almost $12, maybe $8. Vanilla beans ain't cheap. And let's see. Pectin. Pectin is good for making hair gel and that's just some more baking soda, just cheap version. And that's it. Yep. 
Now that is all of my products. The only products that I would have in the bathroom. Oh, I got some more stuff. Alright, so I promise you this is the last of my stuff. So this stuff is kept over here in my little trunk containers. My um, Tresemme Naturals Conditioner. At the moment, that's the only um, store-bought conditioner I have. Uh, you know, other than the Natty Moist, I don't have any more store-bought conditioners. I'm going to try to stick to mine, but you always need a backup. My Bragg's Apple Cider Vinegar. The Witch Hazel. The Witch Hazel I use for my toner. More Witch Hazel. More, um... What's the word, y'all? Preservative. I'm going to use this chlorophyll. I've I seen this in a see internal deodorant. i seen a recipe to make your natural deodorant with this. It's go with that Norelli. So that's what I got that for. Aloe vera gel. And this is the type of aloe vera gel I use when I moisturize my face. I take like a drop of vitamin E and a drop of um, aloe vera gel and I rub it in my face to moisturize my face. And um, in my little um, refrigerator down here, I have just a few more supplies. And that, I promise you, is all that I have. I showed y'all everything. So, so in my little refrigerator right here, I got some liquid vitamin E. And um, I don't really like to use this as a, um, I don't like to use it as a, uh, what's the word, preservative. I just like to use it as, you know, additional vitamin E adding it to products and you know that extra in there so that's that these are some old flax seeds remember you can use flax seeds more than once so these are some old ones right here remember I told you about the hemp oil you can use it on your salads I mean of course most of the things that are in this room don't really go to the kitchen but I do use it in my DC as well I actually found this bottle of hemp in the natural grocery store before I found the actual little um, bottle over there. The yogurt, Greek yogurt. I can't stand the taste of yogurt, but I do use the yogurt with my DC mix. I have a big old, big old thing of aloe vera gel because what I like to do with the aloe vera gel, I like to use it to moisturize my hair. So sometimes I'll put my Ayurvedic spritz on some aloe vera gel and then an oil or butter to come behind it and that's really good for moisturizing i got the aloe vera juice i like to use that in my leave-in this is my smaller bottle that i refilled the big one with and this is some already made up ayurvedic water spritz and you know i like to keep it refrigerated for um so i don't have to keep making it over and over and over again because sometimes you know you can't be making stuff every other five minutes. But that, my dear friends, is all of my stuff. I don't have nothing else. No secrets, nothing. That's it.